Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, I'm joined by my fiance David from Wargaming Parrot, which is something I wanted to mention because a lot of people don't realise that we're actually together and they're like, did you realise your birds have the same names? It's like, yeah. Yeah, I get comments sometimes <laughs> saying, you, those are the same birds that are on that English bird YouTubers channel. But like, yeah, because we live together, so. So if you didn't know, now you do. Um, and today we're going to be talking about some of the like best products that we've ever bought or received or that kind of thing for parrots. They're not necessarily parrot specific, but they work for our flock. So hopefully you enjoy this and of course as usual any links to anything are going to be down in the description if you want to go and check them out afterwards but let's get straight into it. So the first product I want to talk about is the Zumax small teach box from which we bought from Garden Feathers. Now this was bought on a whim at uh, Think Parrots uh, quite a while back now due to Covid, it feels like ages ago and I just thought it'd be fun to start training our parrots to do loads of tricks because I've done sort of training in the past but not sort of this novelty sort of training, it was a lot of fun. So all it is is this little box and it has little slots in it so you can do more complex behaviours. And let me try and pull some out of here because you can't really see them very clearly. These little um, acrylic items, some with hooks, some like little discs. And with these, you can just teach your parrot how to tidy up things. Like for example, pick them up from the floor and pop them straight in. And this was such a, a game changer in terms of products mm. because this is what started our sort of Instagram really because yeah. Everyone just loved the behaviours, and then I transferred them onto sort of novelty toys, which the birds love. Um, the infamous vending machine, and yeah, this this is where it all started. So it's a really good product. It's something I would highly recommend for anyone who wants to start teaching their bird how to tidy up, or maybe using novel enrichment. Yeah, and also if you want to learn how to do that, go over to David's channel. I've got a link up there and down there um, to David's tutorials how to train your bird to tidy up. So the next item, which I'll put a little photo here now is a blackout blind and this was an absolute game changer for us especially coming with the spring and the longer days because first thing in the morning we get loads of light in this room which is essentially now the bird room and uh, the birds like to get up nice and early which i don't really mind too much but obviously it's not great for their light cycle so we got this blackout blind from amazon i think it was about 20 or something pounds um and it's got little suction cups on it because that works for our windows you can get some that hook over but the way that our windows work it doesn't work but this means that we can move it anywhere we like we can put it anywhere we like um and it's just so so useful and we've noticed a real improvement in their behavior as well haven't we with using this blackout blind and just making sure they get the darkness they need but the one thing i wanted to mention is if you do use anything like blackout blinds or curtains or anything like that when you uh, decide to come in in the morning and open them don't just suddenly open it up like a big event because that can then cause lots of stress for your birds, it can cause even more noise. So what I like to do, because I normally get the birds up, is I'll come in and I'll take just one of the window pane um, blind bits off and I'll leave a little bit of light coming through. Then I'll start kind of doing the morning routine, take a little bit off a little bit later, and then it comes off a little bit later after that. So that kind of works with the light cycle, not just suddenly plunging them into light after dark and vice versa. Uh, and that works for us, doesn't it? It's also a really good alternative to cage covering because cage covering can cause all sorts of issues with hormones, etc. I've actually covered that in a recent video. And um, just having a blackout blind allows you to have that darkness without Correct all the problems that uh, covering does, mm -hmm. and it was as Sophie said, it's quite inexpensive, it's very easy to move around, and we we're really pleased we bought it. Uh, obviously, leaving it up all day isn't something we would recommend, but to extend light, uh, sort of extend darkness during summer months and give yourself a bit of rest, also preserve their 12 hours sleep, it's very, very useful. So, the next product we want to talk about is Easy Chick, and Sophie has something she's itchy to say. I obviously need to give you guys a disclaimer that I am a brand ambassador for Easy Chick and they do like technically sponsor me but this video is not a sponsored video, it's not branded content and they haven't asked me to speak about it so we like to make sure that all of the legal stuff is clear and then David's going to talk about it because he wants to talk about it. Yeah, it's one of the better things for me to talk about So I am not a brand ambassador for Easy Chick, I just happen to really like it. I like substrate in general, um, it's been a game changer for our birds and for anyone who wants to use Substrate again, I've got videos on the topic, I'm not going to leave links or anything to Sophie's channel. But Substrate is such a great thing for Parrot's Cage, Easy Chick in especially because it is designed for birds. Uh, it's treated with um, is it antifungal, antibacterial it's an organic, agents. It's an organic substance which makes it bacteria free so it gives you peace of mind that your bird is going to be safe using it. It's very useful in that way. Instead of just having your parrot use the top third of the cage, they can enjoy the whole of the cage and especially with ground, natural ground feeding parrots Olive has got a strong opinion on this. Um, natural ground feeding parrots, they all like to come down and forage and you can just create this just lovely environment. 
I've said it a lot, me and Sophie do say it a lot, a cage should not be a cage, it should not be considered a cage, it should be considered a bedroom. And when you have a lovely um, easy chick carpet in your bedroom, it makes it more fun to play on and it's just so useful and so much fun. Yeah, and I know that there's gonna be people in the comments like, oh, I can't get it in the US or the country that I'm in. I know, I know, I tell them all the time and I know you guys too, because they tell me that they get emails every week about people in the US wanting it. I mean, keep emailing them because maybe they'll be able to bring it over there. But I do totally understand. But hopefully, if you can access Easy Chick, definitely try it out with your birds because it is amazing. So the next thing I want to talk about are these um, Trixie branches. We get these on Amazon. Normally, when they're on offer, they're about £1.79. They used to be £1.50, but you know, the dreaded B word. We won't say it on this channel. Um, but now things are going up in price. But they're still very, very affordable. And they're about 20 centimetres long. And these are absolutely fantastic for small birds. And the great thing about these ones is they come with the bark on them. And chewing bark off of branches is a perfectly natural bird behaviour. So if you can offer that to your birds, it's just another way of allowing them to express this natural behaviour. And because they're so inexpensive as well, it's amazing. I've got loads of them and I always try and buy them when they're on offer. So I'd highly recommend grabbing some of these for your birds. And it's also a way of providing kind of a natural textured surface for them, which is really great for their foot health too. Now, the next product we have is a knots and discs toy from Northern Parrots. And this is something I bought again on a whim because I love these whimsical bikes. I like to try just random things with our flock just to see if they all enjoy them. And this isn't something we traditionally buy because it has hard wood um, discs and leather sort of strips. It's all natural, lovely. However, because it's such hard material, little beaks don't normally enjoy it. However, again, I said however many times, our parrots really love it. Uh, for example, Olive will chew through this hard uh, wood, but she also loves chewing at the leather strings. The con other conyers, pebbles and scampi, again, similarly the same. The boys don't chew the discs at all. However, they absolutely love the leather. They'll Grasping. grab, they'll <laughs> grasp the, um, the little discs in their hands and chew at the leather. So this has been a really good toy. And we've ended up getting one for each cage purely because they enjoy it so much. The other sort of mini benefit of it is they can climb on it as well. And I've seen the conyers climbing and enjoying it too. The next thing we wanted to talk about is cork bark and specifically cork bark perches. This one doesn't actually have the attachment on, but once you put them in the cage, because it's such a soft wood, I didn't want to take it out again. But our very wonderful patron, Veronica, over on Patreon, sent us a really lovely gift box of some uh, things from Feathered Addictions, which I did make a video on. And included in that is some cork bark perches and our birds have just gone absolutely wild for them it's so much fun to chew this because it's such a soft kind of wood and the boys have almost chewed all the way through there so i think i need to keep an eye on it just so it doesn't fall down but this has been an absolute game changer now it's been tricky for us to find kind of safe cork in the uk um we do have like kind of cork little bits and toys and things but actual big pieces that you can make into branches. I haven't found a safe source, so if you know one, please let me know down in the comments because there's always a risk with um, certain places sometimes they're covered in dirt or mold and I'm obviously very paranoid about that because we want our birds to be nice and safe. So if you have bought from somewhere and it's been awesome, then please let me know. But uh, Feathered Addictions has awesome stuff like this. Uh, if you know anywhere else, anywhere in the world that has cork, do let us know down in the comments as well for everyone else to see because this has been an absolute game changer. Our birds love cork um, and we hope to get some more soon. Another very important item that we found really, really useful is an air purifier. And I actually got gifted one. We bought one originally, a smaller one, but we felt like we needed a bigger one. So I approached a company and they very kindly sent me a huge one. And while we loved our small one, the huge one has been so much better. It has a little monitor to let us monitor the um, air quality. It just purifies the room so quickly. It cools things down as well. This new big purifier has been really amazing. It's got this monitor which allows us to keep track of the air quality. It's a uh, Wi-Fi controlled. It's got all these beautiful features. It purifies so quickly. So while we love our small one, which is still in our bedroom, this big one's been really good and so, so useful. I mean, if you've got um, powdery down parrots like cockatoos, cockatiels, African greys, very useful, very good for ever parrots as well, or just general like use. I yeah, suppose. I mean, it's good for you, it's good for them. Obviously, you may have seen my respiratory system video that birds have a very sensitive respiratory system. So if we can keep the air nice and clean, then that's awesome. But as David said, the feature that I love most about this particular purifier is it shows you how many particles are in the air. So you can adjust the airflow. And also it has like a colored ring. So blue means amazing, green's good. Yellow is, oh, I'm not sure about that. And then red is, there's a problem here. So it's really good to kind of see um, how the air quality is in your home and it gives you peace of mind as well. If you're wondering why baby Olive's out, she's been very fussy. She wants her attention. So I thought I'd get her out. And if you're wondering also why, I'm, why my hand's sleeved, it's because she finds it much easier to perch on it when we're talking in videos because I do tend to move my hand around 
and if she's on my bare hand, she gets very annoyed with me. So this is why she's sitting on my sleeve hand. The camera's not picking it up, but she's snuffling away. She's got a lot to say about all these products because she likes them. Too. She's going to hopefully <laughs> demo our next product as well. Yeah. So the next product is from Northern Parrots and it's called a hide and treat puzzle parrot toy. I think, I think that's the name of it. Um, it's basically a reusable foraging toy. Now it did actually come with these little pegs that came in all of the different holes and they had different colours on so you can kind of teach your bird colours and things like that. But we just use it as a foraging toy as Baby Olive is demonstrating here. Uh, we get a load of comments on uh, Instagram when we post this. It's just amazing. It's really fun for them to kind of look in all the different holes and look for goodies. Uh, and it's just another way of allowing them to have really fun time out the cage. Because we want them to be busy, we want them to be foraging, we want them to be looking for snacks like she is now. Um, and it's just been brilliant. Um, I'd highly recommend this to anyone if you have access to buying from Northern Parrots. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, and you can even, we don't use the pegs because we just find it such a useful foraging toy, but you can have the pegs and encourage, especially larger birds, to remove them for yeah. the treats. Um, our birds tend to do this behaviour with other toys. We just love this toy for this particular use. And Baby Olive loves it too. Yeah, she's really them. enjoying she's it. for hemp seeds. <laughs> Here we have Mr. Chick, we call him. It's just a small rechargeable chip with a sort of dimmer function we bought from Amazon. We love this little product because it's very useful as a nightlight for our parrots, especially if you have any parrots like budgies or cockatiels who are prone to night fright. We find just having a dim light in the room is very useful because if you have a too bright a light it disrupts their sleep, but a nice dimmable light is very useful for just allowing them to see their environment but not disrupting their sleep cycle. Yeah, this is also really good as well because it's uh, USB charged. So if you have like a power cart and you'd normally have one in the mains, then at least this one's not going to go off. So um, I like to have one of each because paranoia and anxiety with <laughs> parrots. But yeah, it's really awesome and it's adorable as well. So what more could you want? <laughs> the last product is our travel carrier, which obviously is far too big to fit on screen. This is from Northern Parrots as well. Again, we talk about this a lot. Um, this has been absolutely amazing. I'll put another picture like here so you can see it a little bit better. But this has been fantastic. And what I really like about this travel carrier is it has soft sides. So if your bird isn't very comfortable in there or something spooks them, they do thrash about, they're not gonna hurt themselves. It's also really roomy as well. So if you have two birds that are inseparable, they can fit in there just fine together. Um, it has like backpack features as well. So um, you can you know take your bird on walks and once bird flu is cleared up in the UK, we are taking this little lady out on a little walk, a uh, little springtime walk hopefully, so that would be really fun. So if you'd like to see that as a video, let me know down in the comments. But I highly recommend this. You can use other ones of course, that's totally fine. But we think that this is awesome, there's loads of space in there as I said, and it's just nice and soft and uh, comfortable. And we have taken Olive to the vets in this, and she's absolutely fine in there once you've trained your bird to kind of accept uh, going in the travel carrier. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the products that we think are absolutely amazing and highly recommend. Again, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, we just really love these products. So if you'd like to see any of them, there'll be links down in the description for you to go and check out after this video. Go and subscribe to David's channel, Wargaming Parrot, you'll probably have already, but make sure you head over there as well. Um, but for me, David and Olive, I suppose it's goodbye for now. Take care and see you later. Bye! Bye! <laughs>